Hello, hello, hope you're doing great. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to bounce a track in place or bounce a region to new audio. There's a couple reasons why you'd want to do this. One being if you've got an instrument track that's processor intensive um, and you want to work with it as just a simplified audio file. For instance, we've got this uh, kick, but this kick is running through all these different plugins and you just feel more comfortable working with it as, a, as an audio file. So what we do is you're going to control click on the region and you're going to see, you can see bounce in place here or bounce in place down here. And it's going to bring up this dialog where you can name it and um, we can uh, create a new track or if you select and highlight another track like this, like another audio track, it will allow you to bounce the audio to that track. We're not going to do that right now because it's going to cover up what we already have here. So um, we're going to bounce in place, name it, select a new track. Now this source means you can either leave the original instrument track or you can mute it or delete it. We're going to just leave it. And um, if you hit bypass on the effect plugins, it's going to render the audio without all of these plugins. But we want to hear all these plugins. So we're not going to bypass. And we're going to include the audio tail. An audio tail is usually like when you have a delay or a reverb. So after a hit hits, the reverb tail is going to go on for some time after you know the hit ends. So you'll want this to extend past the region. If, if not, then don't include it. Um, and then normalize means you're going to make the audio as loud as possible. I wouldn't recommend doing this. Um, because you want it to remain at the same. Most likely you're going to want the, the new audio to sound exactly like the track you currently have. So we're going to hit OK. And there it just processed our new region. And now we've got a clean audio file without all the processing. Now, um, it just processed this region because that's all we had selected. So if we redo this again, and I make sure that all of the audio is, all of the regions are selected, so let's do this. It's going to bounce everything that's highlighted. So. There we go. Now we've got the entire track simplified. Now, if you're dealing with uh, an audio track, like say, for instance, you've got a, uh, a vocal and you've put auto-tune on it or Melodyne and you've got it just the way you want and now you just want to work with that tuned audio, um, you do the same thing. You could um, bounce in place and create a new track. And boom. And that's how you do it, folks. Uh, hope that was helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. And feel free to like and subscribe and share. And as always, have an amazing one wherever you are. Catch you on the next one. Take care.